In this video, we're gonna talk about focus. What up, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Ajax. And in this video, I wanted to talk about focus. So we're well into the new year now, and I know a lot of people set up New Year's resolutions, talking about how they want to better themselves, improvements they want to make for the new year, all sorts of things to improve for the new year. What ends up happening though, as you may know, is a lot of people kind of veer off. Um, a lot of people may not stick to those goals and life just kind of takes over, you know what I'm saying? And it's normal because during the holidays, there's like a change of pace. Whereas once you get back into January, routine takes over, life gets back to normal and you know, things just kind of take priority. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is how do we get back on track and how do we refocus on those goals? More than just talking about what it is we want to achieve, I wanted to really focus on the how part. How do we get back to everything so we make it a very productive year for ourselves? So I'm going to share some of the things that have worked for me. Hopefully they'll work for you too. So without further ado, let's get right into it. These are my helpful tips to stay focused. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll share with you one of my personal favorites towards the end as well. So tip number one is create a to-do list the night before. So I've read this is something that a lot of successful people do. And this is something that I started doing last year. And I've noticed that it helps for me a great deal. I'm more productive. I'm more efficient. So what do I mean by a to-do list? So basically the night before you want to write down all the actionable items that you have for the next day. Um, whether that's, you know, you got to call someone up, you got to reply to an email, whatever it is, try to write it down. So what you have then is you have an action plan for the next day and you're setting yourself up to be more proactive versus reactive the next day as well. The other thing that it does is it essentially switches off work mode for you. So what do I mean by that? You're tying up a lot of the loose ends from today so you don't have to think about them anymore. And what that also does, that reduces stress, that reduces anxiety, you feel a lot better, you don't have to think about it until the next day. So definitely something I would recommend. Like I said, it's something that works for me. Um, it's something that I have been using for a little while now. Strong recommendation. Try it out. If you're not already doing it, let me know how it works for you. So tip number two is to have a clean work environment. Um, now this should kind of go without saying, but there's still a lot of people out there that have messy workspaces. Um, I'm kind of guilty of this myself, <laughs> but it's really important to have a kind of clean space, have a clear mind where you can work and not have those distractions because what ends up happening is the clutter, um, those things that are kind of all over the place, they could end up reducing your efficiency and also increasing stress. So you don't want that to happen, especially in a place where you spend so much time, you know, at your workplace. So what I suggest is to, you know, declutter get organized, throw away stuff, get rid of junk, do all those things, and it'll definitely help. You'll definitely see an increase in efficiency and increase in productivity when you do that. And the other thing that I would recommend, which I think is kind of overlooked, but pretty important, is to create some kind of regular schedule where you clean, whether that's a certain time or weekly, just trying to set a time up to where you make it habit and you make it routine. And once you start getting into the habit, you'll notice that the clutter is down, um, you're not having to worry about it as much, uh, and you can just focus. You can just focus on what it is you're trying to do and not get you know caught up with all the distractions. Tip number three is unplug. So what do I mean by that? Basically, this one is all about removing distractions. I read a quote recently that said, distractions are the enemy of progress. And that hit me, that hit me. I was like, damn, that's true. <laughs> And so I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, you know, distractions can definitely hinder your progress. It can pull you in a lot of different directions. And you know, before you know it, an hour might have passed or two hours might have passed and you were distracted doing something else. And that's time you can't get back, you know what I mean? So again, in an effort to stay focused, we gotta remove those distractions. So whether that's social media, whether that's muting your phone, whether that's closing tabs in your browser, you know, whatever it is, uh, you got to make sure that you stay on top of that and that you're not spending too much time doing those things. You know what I mean? And that takes some kind of self-discipline. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy all the time to just put your phone down or 
to not respond to the email that just popped up or whatever it is. But again, there's a certain level of discipline that comes with this. So if you do struggle with this, if this is something that's hard for you, if you wanna check Facebook, if you wanna check Instagram, there's a lot of apps out there and then also browser extensions that you can use that can address that and that can help you with that. So if you're interested in those, I'll link to a couple down below. Hopefully those will help you out. Number four, focus on your health. All these things that we've talked about so far are great, but if you're not feeling right, if your health isn't right, then nothing really matters, you know what I mean? So definitely focus on your health. Probably should have been number one, to be honest with you. You really gotta make sure that you know you feel right, that you're well rested, you're not tired, all those things, because without that, you're not gonna be able to accomplish any of the goals, you're not gonna be able to focus, um, and everything becomes a lot more difficult, of course. So I just wanna spend a little bit more time on this one, because this one is really important. I know at the beginning of the year, a lot of people say, I'm gonna become more active or I'm gonna eat better or whatever it is. And those are very admirable goals. That's dope, I'm glad to hear it. But they're kind of vague, I'm not gonna lie. And if that's the goal that you set out for yourself, it's gonna be very, very difficult to achieve those goals. Because how do you measure that? How do you measure eating better or being more active, right? That's a tough question to answer the right way to do it is to create quantifiable goals. So what do I mean by that? You gotta create something that's measurable, right? Something that you can track, something you can say, yes, I did this. So for example, instead of saying, I'm gonna eat healthier, say, I'm gonna add a salad to my dinner every night, all right? So what you're doing is you're creating a quantifiable goal and it's something that you can track and you can say, yes, I did this. Or if you're saying that you wanna be more active, maybe a better goal would be, I'm gonna take a 30 minute walk every day after work. So those are the types of things that can really make a difference because the more and more that you're doing them, they become a habit. And once they become a habit, you can build on them. You know what I mean? So instead of really focusing on those vague goals, get specific and you're gonna see real change. Number five, Number five is balance. So for all the work that we're doing, for everything that we're accomplishing, it's really important from time to time to get away from it all too. You don't wanna get bogged down with work. You don't wanna get overwhelmed. You don't wanna just kind of get too deep in it that you forget about everything else and then other areas of your life suffer. When I say getting away from it, it can mean different things to different people, right? Whether that's taking a 10 minute walk during your work day, just kind of break away. Um, and get a breather, or if that's taking a one week vacation, whatever works for you, you know what I mean? It's just really important to kind of get away from it all, to breathe, that'll help you function better, and you'll feel better too. So for me personally, some of the things that I'm trying to do this year to create that balance, because I'm very guilty of getting caught up in work um, and spending too much time on it and losing track of time, things like reading more, playing video games, uh, and even traveling. Those are all things that I'm focused on and thinking about and what I'm gonna be using to create that balance in my life. And maybe those are ideas for you too. So I mentioned to you, if you stick around till the end, I will share with you my bonus tip. So here it is, number six. Number six, and this is one of my personal favorites, write down your why and reference it regularly. So let me explain this one. What is your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you working on this? Why are you working towards this goal of yours? Is it financial freedom? Are you supporting somebody? Is there a really important cause in your life? Whatever it is, write it down. The purpose of that is this can serve as a reminder in the future for why it is you're doing what it is you're doing. Look, life has this crazy way of pulling us in different directions and taking us down different paths. And before you know it, you may forget why you're doing the work, you know? Sometimes I'm up late, sometimes I'm working on something, and I'm just like, yo, I'm stressed. I don't know why I'm doing this. My head hurts, I'm tired. You know, it's hard to work through those moments. In times like those, it really goes a long way if you're able to reference back to your why. And what ends up happening is it can reinvigorate you and you could just feel better. Like, yo, that's right, that's why I'm doing it. It is important because 
of this or because of that. And you need that from time to time, you know? So, so try to write down something and then reference back to it regularly, whether that's every month, or every quarter, whatever works for you. Cause yeah, man, life is crazy and it can pull you in different directions. And sometimes when you get off track, that why is gonna help you get back on track. And those are my helpful tips to stay focused for this year. I just wanted to provide some helpful tips to you guys and some of the things that I've been doing and some of the things that I've been implementing that work for me. So, you know, if it's stuff that worked for me, hopefully you can also get help from this as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like down below and please subscribe over here. And I will leave you with the question, what tips work for you? What are things that you do that keep you going, keep you focused, keep you energized, especially in those moments, you know, where you get pulled in different directions. Love to hear from you. Hit me in the comments. Let me know. I right, y'all. Until the next one, my name is Ajax signing out. Peace. What a ride, plus something that we haven't seen As we travel all across the galaxy With our heroes, I watch them as they fight a war Against the Sith, reminded what they're fighting for it's like